ever wondered how copy gets from here to here? There are several species of shrub known by the genus of Capia that produce the copy bean, such as Capia canipera, Capia arabica, Capia racemosa, Capia bengalonsis, and Capia stenifera. Popular in the Western world being the canephora and arabica. With Brazil currently being the greatest producer of coffee and its value surpassed only by oil, the growth of the tree and its delicate yield are of importance to many people. The pea berries of cathia plants are where it all begins. After seven to nine months of growth, the berries ripen and are ready to be harvested. They are hand-picked by either wet or dry method. They are then fermented to remove a slime layer, washed, dried, and sorted. Roasting of the green bean to the bean that you see at home. They are then finely grated by color and packaged. This is all well and good when coffee crops are controlled and the process is watched carefully by humans, but how are they naturally spread? Some organisms carry and disperse the seeds of the coffee plant, and they are known as vectors. In this case, they can include the civet, birds, and monkeys, and other various animals. You may have heard of Kapiluak, being a highly graded coffee at $9 a cup in Sydney, is coffee made from the beans of coffee berries, which have been deposited in an Asian palm civet feces, or poo, a perfect vector, for example. You may now ask, are these animals affected by the ingestion of coffee berries? Unfortunately, little is known. However, it is known that only the outer pulp is digested by the civet, and so it may remain unaffected by the caffeine. Yes! It's coffee time! Coffee! Coffee!